第六对表演题目是 Inspiration， 计时开始。
第七对表演题目是 Hope, Understand, Gratitude. 计时开始。To tell us about the small corner of the world. In this interview, we com completely know a better one of the corners of the world. Mo much movement can help much more people know about their story than everyone assists them. In this interview, I want to ask three reporters do you have any particular experience or feelings you can share with our audience? Actually, I feel that we live in an environment of happiness. It's peace and safe to grow up. But that's not it that we want. We always need more and more in this conversation. I believe that we will treasure what we have already. I realize that we are living in a peace and safe place. We are lucky. We don't need to face the hard times in words. We need to change our mind and we need to and we need to be gratitude. Look, the refugees don't have a real home. They don't know their future and where their home is. A conversation. I think we know this word, refugee. In fact, we should go there and feel the difficulties they face in the world. When I return to this peace and full of laughter place, I feel that we live in happy and harmony home, but we don't treasure it. It's so disappointed. The last. Do you have any special experience to share with us? Yes. We think hug can give people warm and be loved. H means help. U means understand. Thanks for the reporter's share about it. Our show is end. Thanks, everyone.
第八对表演题目是 Feeding the Planet, Farming for Tomorrow. 计时开始。The 2015 World Expo is being held in Milan, where nations underscore the significance of food shortage. The story begins when two enthusiastic Taiwanese teenagers arrive at the expo to understand more about this issue. Ah, here we are at the Swiss Pavilion. I heard that it's the talk of the town. Yeah, because free souvenirs. Free, free stuff rocks on the double, man. Wow, there are apples. Salt, coffee, and water. Well, there's still plenty of souvenirs left. We should be able to get some. Hey, you, you, you! Visitors are free to take away or consume any amount of the product. Awesome. Hey, why are you doing that? Yeah, that's inconsiderate. So what? I got your first. Excuse me. Stop arguing. You're disturbing the other visitors. Sorry, but this guy here. I know he has just demonstrated the main concept of this pavilion. Well, what do you mean? This pavilion emphasizes the seriousness of global food shortage. The limited food display here reminds us that if we exhaust our natural resources, the future generations will have nothing left. I understand, but. Could it be that serious? It is, according to statistics by the United Nations. A person dies of hunger every ten seconds. What? Ten seconds? Oh no, that's horrible. Can we do something about it? Hmm. Maybe we should promote some farming techniques to increase production. Well, sustainable agriculture might be a way out. Oh. We can produce food forever and ever. And also, if this farming method is practiced in every corner of the world, then it may change everything. Great plan! Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Uh huh? We're both from Taiwan, right? Um, I, I'm sorry for being a jerk earlier, but could you please count me in? I'm from Taiwan too. Sure thing. So why don't we set up? Taiwanese pavilion right here to share our ideas. We can take action ourselves. Yes, we do care about global affairs and want to make a difference in the world. Awesome! I can search for information. I could find farmers for advice. Then I could gather the materials we need. Off we go! go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Taiwan Pavilion. Today, we would like to share with you some ways to address the upcoming food shortage. Through investigation, we suggest that sustainable agriculture might be a solution. Excuse me, but how does sustainable agriculture help? It doesn't seem to increase the production of crops. With sustainable agriculture, the land will not be overexploited by chemicals and would stay fertile. It should be able to yield a stable supply of food, presumably for eternity. And food shortage will become a thing of the past. Sounds convincing, but are there any successful examples to support this idea? Indeed, there are. A local company in Taiwan, by nearby, is one of the successful pioneers. They sponsor farmers to help them switch from chemical fertilizers to the natural ones. The company buys the farmers' products regularly at reasonable prices. They then sell the products themselves to promote the concept of sustainable agriculture. Isn't that fascinating? That's amazing. Those are definitely game-changing ideas that will make a huge difference. We hope to propose a solution for nations facing agricultural problems. What we do today will translate into a better tomorrow for all of us. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. 
We believe that we, the younger generation of Taiwan, ROC, can make a world of difference by taking the first step. And the first step is to reach out and care. Where's Mr. Peters and the rest of the class? We're not supposed to be in here. Chillax, people. We'll find them soon enough. Yeah, but the worst that can happen in the museum, we could get smarter. You know what? It is Santa clear proven that I can't get any smarter. How did you come to that? I created a program and uploaded all my grades. Sis, hey, I don't really want to know. You're lost. Where are we? I've never been in this part of the museum before. The plaque at the entrance read Taiwan's engineering marvels. Look, it's a scale model of Taipei 101. And look over there. Taiwan high speed railway system and the Shishan tunnel between Yilan and Taipei. Manny, tell us about it. The tunnel opened in 2006 between Taipei and Yilan, more than a hundred years ago. Impressive. Darling, he wrote a sign in the back. Yeah. Wow, look, it's a United Culture Bridge of Time. Manny, what's with the name? Um, no sign to help me this time. I got this one. My dad told me about it. It was supposed to be an impossible bridge. However, four very different individuals from around the world worked hard to create it. That's right, the project was sparked by Taiwan's plan But from the beginning, they knew it would be difficult to bridge their differences. Good morning, everyone. Let's see, players here from Europe, and the two of you are from Taiwan. We're still missing our North American colleague. Why have you chosen us? You are young, you are ambitious, you are great at what you do, and you represent the best of different cultures. I will leave you now. Please get to work. Let's see, we have a map here. to 
take another step forward here today. We take what we know and we embrace the ideas from around the world to create something new, something special. Dig deep and connect all the different parts. And when we put it all together, we have a cantilever bridge. bridge! Perfect balance and symmetry! We didn't just build a bridge to span a river here today. What do you mean? Here, follow me and I'll show you. This is more than just a bridge. It's been a bridge across the cultures that day. In fact, they defy great odds with their skills. That makes sense. What does? Why they call it the United Culture Bridge of Time. I was going to say that. Sure you were, Manny, sure you were. The bridge is really a testament and representation of Taiwan's innovation and global cooperation. Hey, our class is over there. Come on, guys. It's not just a dream. Can I help you? How much longer is the flight going to be? Three hours to the island for transfer. Ew, an island? Oh, I will never go there. People there are so poor. I'll never go to an underdeveloped country like this. <coughs> What's going on? <coughs> dangerous and unhealthy to eat something raw. They don't eat warm and he's so skinny. I guess he must not have a meal for a long time. <sighs> Poor kids. I cannot imagine that they have to do this every time when they want something as simple as water. <sighs> so, what are you guys doing at night? If the work is not done yet, there is not much we can do until sunrise. So, we mainly sit around the fire since this is the only life we have. Okay, there is a mechanical power generator. All we have to do is step on the bike and store the energy into the battery. Wow, thank you so much! Now that we can do so many things and that we could. Life is hard, simple technology 
up your back leg. Every day. Oh, what have I done for the past few years? I bet there's something we can do to help those less fortunate. Ten years later, our Chinese teenagers has founded a world classified charity that helps less fortunate countries in many ways. They have succeeded in many ways, such as eradicating diseases and start educational programs. They took action to educate the citizens of Taiwan on what is happening or what they can do to help. Sometimes only just a dream can lead to exceptional changes in the world. It's not just a dream. Thank you. 第十一对表演题目是 Equal Education Without Borders. 计时开始。to do our best. Okay, I'm ready.
Emily and Megan. It's been three months since we came back to Taiwan. How have you been? We miss you very much. There are some daily necessities in a package you received. Hope it will be helpful. Do you still remember the song we taught you? Look upon the sky. You'll realize today is beautiful too. No matter what the situation is, remember to always stay positive and look on the bright side of life. We love you. Sincerely, Ella and Peggy. Oh, I miss them so much. Hey, Megan. You know what? I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Me too. I want to be just like them. Thank you. 第十二队表演题目是 Let's Help. 计时开始。The aim of the world collapsed to achieve peaceful, healthy, just sustainable world by creating ecology, human rights. Number two, environment. We plan to clean rivers, planting trees, and protecting animals. And agriculture, we pick up fruits and set it for organic farms. And construction, we build up school, toilets, and convenient farms. Social work. We organize festival and we go in school to tell the kids how to perform. Us. Yeah, that's it. There are lots of ways to help people. The most beautiful part is to experience different lifestyle. I'm going to join Nepal English teaching this summer. Do you guys want to come too? I know you want to come too. Right? How about you? Nepal sounds really cool. I remember hearing about it in the news. English ability exam and pay for your own ticket. For you, Ray, your English won't be a problem. Flights to Nepal are pretty expensive, though. I'm not sure I can afford it. Oh. Uh, relax, Ray. Going to Nepal is not the only way to help people. Actually, there's been something on the news about children who have to spend 19 minutes a day walking to school. They live on the border of Uganda and Kenya in the Mount Elgin area. They absolutely love going to school, but they have to walk barefooted on rocky road where the structure is unstable. Furthermore, the children sometimes carry parasitic diseases that they pick up from working in their feet. There's this organization in Taiwan right now that are collecting shoes for these children and making a documentary about it to show how the Taiwanese people and together. The film will be made and translated into two languages to show our friends in Africa that there are people here who love and care for them and also for the rest of the world. I think this is just as meaningful as going to Nepal because we can each help out in ways that best suit our abilities. Our abilities. Hi guys. Hey, hey teacher, teacher Ruby. Ruby. Actually, I heard you guys talking about volunteering. Doing what you are prepared for of is very important. Helping people in our capabilities and offering what local people really need are two key factors. Beware though, because our good intentions might cause inconvenience for the local people. So, volunteers must be aware of what they are doing. Otherwise, it might cause unnecessary misunderstandings. For example, first, first. don't be late. Second. 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 Study the 
country's customs. Third, third, third. Don't, leave, don't leave the workplace early. And the most important is, don't think that you are unless. Everyone has huge potential. Everyone, Everyone has, has huge, huge potential. potential. Work camps can make the world a better place through volunteer work. Each volunteer should have done their research and cooperate with other volunteers. You will not only learn a lot from it, but also become a considerate person. Be a better human, human being. being. Thank you for your listening. Good evening. Welcome to Sarah and William show. In the next 20 minutes, we will invite some of the most inspired people to come to the show and share their stories with us. And this is your host, William. And this is your hostess, Sarah. Today, we invited two very interesting guys to the show. One of them has been to over 80 countries, speaks 9 different languages, and a writer of over 40 books. Well, so what are you waiting for? Let's welcome our guest, Mr. Chu Xin and Mr. Daniel Wang. Welcome. How's it going? I'm good. It's busy as usual. So, Xin, you have quite an interesting background. You not only graduated from three universities, but also sail around the world at such a young age. Surprisingly, both of you gave up your high-paying jobs to work as NGO advisors. Um, yeah, you're right. I'm sure a lot of people wonder, what exactly does NGO stand for and what do you guys do? Well, first of all, NGO stands for Non-Governmental Organization. Basically, our job is to go to developing countries and help them. Uh, we deeply concerned about the local tribe, the environments, the education, the agriculture, and so on. Can you tell us more about it? Um, yeah, we went around the UN trying to convince them to support Wanda's efforts on making biodiesel. We worked on the development of a small farm village in Myanmar, and perhaps the most important of all, is the training of young venture workers in Asia. Oh, that's a lot of work. Have you learned anything during the experience? Um, well, I unlearned a lot of things. Unlearned? unlearned? And I used to be an arrogant person. Here's a story.
I, I haven't thought about this before. No, maybe, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we didn't get what the people really need. Maybe next time I go to a new country, I should find out what they need before I help them, instead of letting our own stereotype get in front of us. If we had known this before, we could have saved time, tons of time and money just by building a well in this village. Yes, you are right. Before we go, do you have anything to do for our youngsters? Yeah, um, first, go live abroad for at least three months to widen your global viewpoints. Second, find a place in the world for you, uh, embrace it as far as like yourself. Last but not least, be the change you want to see in the world. We are very grateful to have Shin and Daniel with us today, and we all learn a lot from them. Once again, thanks for watching Sarah and William show, and this is William. And this is Sarah. You won't want to miss a show for next week. We'll keep bringing more fascinating stories right here on Sarah and Worm Show. 第十四对表演题目是 Make O S One 计时开始 This is the one that killed Bambi's mother. <laughs> Mom, could you buy me an iPhone six? What? You bought an iPhone five last year, but it is old fashioned now. What are you talking about? I just want it! Hey, come back! Where are you going? What's the matter with her? How would I know? That is your fault! <sighs> My parents don't love me! Whoops! What are you doing? Don't you see me? Sorry. Why are you crying? My parents won't buy You must be kidding! I won't buy a story unless you prove to me it is true. Let me take you to another place and show you. Ula ula! Here we are! Who am I? Oh, it is so hot. Please turn on the air conditioner. Ooh. By the way, who is that girl standing there without shoes? We are in Iraq now. I'm going to show you some really poor people. She's seen her. I want to go home. I will treasure everything I have. I've already brought you here. If you need help, just cross us and call me. Bye. No, don't let me. I want to go back to Taiwan. Hey, could you have something to drink? I'm dying for a drink. Hi. <sighs> Sorry, we ran down the water. You can just drink the ground water. What, what, what are you talking about? Please take me to get clean drinking water right now. OK, we have to walk miles and miles. I'm my friend. You walk miles to get water? Mm. Where's your family? Some of them died of dehydration, and some died in the war. I am the only one that is still alive. I'm sorry. Oh. Why are you here? We are trying to get water. Please let us go. Give me your bag. Here. Please let us go. Mm. You are such a rich Saving my life! Ah. You must 
be thirsty. I'm okay. Mm, let me think how I can help you. I got it. We can build a well. Let's do it. Ah, we can ask Barry for help. Very, 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 very. Wow! Who is that? Oh, she's Barry, and she can help us. How can I help you? Hmm. I want to build a wheel here so that the people can get water much easily. How smart and kind you are! <laughs> Thanks. Let me help you. Different. Three, two, one. One hundred kilometers. We did it! Wow, that was a super long walk. But totally worth it. Look at all this money we raised. Oh, hi there. Sorry, we didn't notice you. What a nice car you have. Thanks. What are you guys doing? Oh. We just finished a 100 kilometers walk to help raise money for Africa. See our T-shirts. Hard for Africa. That sounds cool. Is it just you two doing it? Oh no! Many youth in Taiwan participated in this. We have raised lots of money to be sent to Africa to help out whales. That's, That's awesome. awesome! Hey, come join us at our fire. Have some marshmallows. Sure. Thanks. Are you guys coming here? Well, actually, we just finished cleaning up this beach. We are part of a youth program that organizes beach cleanups. It is called Rethink, which was started here in Taiwan. Rethink? Oh, I've heard of that program. You guys have really helped make the world a more beautiful place. Thanks. It is in all of us to make a change, just like you guys have done. Guys, look at us sitting here on this clean beach with this beautiful fire. Life in Taiwan is good. I agree. It is because of such actions like we have done that has made the difference. You know, anyone can do it. All you need is care and the determination to make a difference. See this fish I was cooking? This fish reminds me of another example of what we're talking about. Have you heard the story of Dr. Lai? No. Well. He is the reason why there are now so much fewer people with bad eyesight in the world today. He discovered a way to use fish scales as a way to kill broken eyes. And all this started when he was in his youth. You see, as a youth, Dr. Lai had a grandmother who was going blind. Hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, Grandma. That may give me a her eyes were failing her, and the only way to get better back then was by having an eye transplant, which is very rare. Uh, Grandma, I'm here! Oh, 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 look! You look so thin! Give me your hand, let me cook some food for you to eat! Let's go! 
Sadly, she became blind and soon died after without being able to see her grandson. Dr. Lai, saddened by this, was determined to find a better way to help people to see better. He went to school and studied medical. He tried to fight, figure out a way to heal eyes. He wanted to help people to have a better sight to look at the beautiful world. But unfortunately, he was never successful. The problem was that in order to heal a better in order to heal a broken eye, certain part of it, it would need to be replaced without the need of donated eyes. Therefore, he tried to work his experiment at his lab, but he was never successful. Then one day, when he was at a restaurant with a friend, he ordered fish. Enjoy your meal. Oh, I'm a failure. Eat your fish, dear. Because Dr. Lai was saddened by his lack of success, he did not pay attention while eating. As he was eating the fish, he suddenly started choking on something. Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 his friend quickly came to his rescue and helped him spit out the thing he was choking on. Ew! What is that? It's it's a fish girl. Once Dr. Light picked it up, instead of throwing it away, he came up with an idea. Could this work? You see, fish scales are made out of collagen, which keeps everything on my body together. So, Dr. Light found this was a really good experiment, and he worked really hard at this project. He immediately worked this project at his lab and eventually proved himself right. Yes! yes! His caring and determination for the world may lead to helping the world to see better. And this all came from a youth in Taiwan who cared to make a difference. Our examples, although simple, reflect that we are people that not only care about our own country, but the well-being of the whole world. And all it takes is caring and determination to make a difference. Let's continue making this country and the entire world a better place. Thank you. 第十六对表演题目是 The World's Addiction to Love from the Dating Agers. 计时开始。The score made an announcement about the information of going to India to be volunteers. Andy and Vivian don't want to waste their summer vacation, so Andy invites Vivian to be volunteers together. I found that our school has been recruiting volunteers to India. Do you want to go with me? Really? It sounds great. Let's join it together. As soon as Andy and Vivian arrive in India, they head for a small town and are assigned to take care of Ellen. Then let's carry on some simple teaching and reading activities and follow the local youth to visit the village to understand the local situation. Let's destroy buildings that have to be treated fairly. Let them be the first person. Thanks for your presence. I like them very much. I, will, I can't wait to see how happy they are. Sure, we are allowed. We may ask them to travel to Cyprus and have never been to Cyprus. But they may go to Cyprus. Really? If you have to leave me, I will be very upset. This is really sad to see them living in this condition. Yeah, no, but don't give them no help to show that they are about others now. These children never accept much patience, but they are both creativity. So they are able to mess. So they are glad to share. They make me feel much better. Most importantly, I feel pleased that.
occasion I did, I couldn't keep in touch with you. You would never know how much I miss you. I have a great answer for your summer vacation. Really? Can you share it with me? We will enjoy the discussion together. Coming in. I got something worth mentioning. It is our first time to be international volunteers in foreign country. You could never imagine what happened. For me, amazing India sports. I stay every moment. We can hear that talking and enjoy the conversation. What kind of surprise? I also want to know. Do you have more experience? We went to local school to help dentists diagnose the pool. We also did feel good to the poor people. Because of all of this, I felt a passion for local people. Although their life quality is limited to the division goods and materials, they still live with a content and grateful mind. Well, seeing their innocent smiles and showing the expression from their eyes, the children of their hands and shouted, Photo! Photo! I couldn't help but think of what the power of her and it shows such a pure existence of nature. As for people living in a prosperous civilization, will we be happier than them? Initially, I saw that only the African native volunteers would help them. However, the definition of volunteers should be the one who devote himself or herself. Satisfied, the social need and bring positive effect. We are just like the seeds of dandelion and spread our love. We interact, accompany, and show, and give the positive power to them. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a check. Wow. Thank you. 第十七对表演题目是。Fight for a better life. 计时开始。There is a place called the Global Village where various kinds of families live. Every day, some interesting things happen. Let's take a look. Wow! What a sunny day! Hey, Korea! Hey, Japan! Hey, uh, are you feeling? Better now. I hope that your family got sick. Nonsense. We are all fine. Really? I saw your <coughs> coughing a few days ago. It's not important. Don't make an issue of it. Focus on fishing. Here comes China. <coughs> not again. Hey, go away. This is my fish pound. This fish pound belongs to no one. How can you say that? Shut up. This is mine. You have no right to argue with me. Hi, everyone. Hey, Taiwan. Hey, take a look at it. I got a fish. This fish is from my side. Don't cross the line. Uh, maybe we can Google where the line is. Well, it's right. That's why you don't have. Oh, they don't even have Facebook either. <laughs> Not to speak of Google. Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mister who knows everything. I'll kick your ass if you don't stop speaking. Why are you being ashamed into anger? That's not your business. That's just nothing. By the way, when did you become such a close friend of oh, Korea? You, I'm not your friend. I even can't forget those dirty things that your grandpa done to the women in our family long time ago. At least I'm not the one who always cheats in competitions. Hey, how dare you fight here at my house? Hey, hey, oh, stop it! Ah! Oh. oh no!
brother is a doctor. My sister is an engineer. As for me, I'm good at building houses. <laughs> hey, Japan, let me help you. Here's a little token of my concern. I hope this is what you need. Hey, uh, uh, how did you get this money? Oh, I have saved it in my daily life. Later, the village turns back to peaceful. <coughs> One day, what a sunny day! Hi, Japan. Hey, is everything getting better now? Thanks to you, it's much better now. <laughs> hey, it, it seems like I'm going to get a fish. A huge one! Let me help you! Oh! We can pull it out! Come to help us! Quickly! One, One two, two, three! Hey! There is something here! Let's take a look! Hey, Karina! The person the world needs. 计时开始。
by using it to help other people. Yes, I agree. This is why I decided to come to Taiwan. Young people from Taiwan go to my country and teach us how to farm and fight against diseases. Youth in Taiwan travel everywhere. It really is an amazing center of culture and hospitality. I think it is a great place to expand my international perspective. Me too. After I met some Taiwanese students from Taiwan, I knew I wanted to study Chinese in Taiwan. The young people in Taiwan are some of the friendliest in the world, and it's a big tourist destination. It really is an international country. Oh, thank you for your kind words about my country. But you don't think it is too small of an island? Not at all. Although it is small in size, it is big mm. in culture and history. You share culture with many other Asian countries, but are unique and special with your kindness and willingness to travel the world and help other people. Youth in Taiwan are a great example of what the world needs. We are embracing the world and will make a big difference by making the world a better place. Thank you. 第十九对表演题目是 Love Ticket, Spreading the Love. 计时开始。Yes. Finally, I got a hundred on masks. Dad promised to hang out with me if I got a full mark. Just look. Dad, I got a hundred. Later from the president of South Africa. They really like our new hospital, yeah. and it saved a lot of people. Haha, <laughs> this is my third uh, third hospital built in Africa. I didn't expect the hospital to help a lot of people, and the sixth graders in my third. Elementary school are graduating this year. I remember when they were young, they just a poor children neighbors. But fortunately, they came to my school to receive education. I think I need to start to build high school. This might be a good chance to give the poor have a more brighter future. Dad, take a look. This is my exam. Give me a second. Dad, I got a hundred. I am still working. Quiet. Next year, I donate twenty million dollars for the poor African countries. It's not. It's may not enough for some countries to build infrastructure. This month, I need to donate more money. I heard that there is another drought in Kenya, which killed a lot of people, and the civil war in southern Sudan and Congo is now taking place. The hateful civil war. Also kill a lot of people. I wish I could end it. Every time I see them, I feel really sorry for them. Dad, the only thing I need is your signature. Silence. Why you can be quiet for a minute? I am still working. Every time, no matter what I ask, you don't even care about it. Fine, sign. Thank you. That's all I need from you. James, is your right edge there? After the after the conflict, James's dad felt terrible pain in his chest. The ambulance came as fast as it could have, but it was too late. His dad died in a hospital. When James was collecting the relict of his dad, he found a letter. It was for him. Dear James, by the time you see this letter, I'm probably dead. First of all, I need to apologize. I didn't do what a father should have done, but I love you from the bottom of my heart. Maybe I was wrong. Dad really cares. Even though I've done nothing to prove so, you are the most, most precious, precious gift that, that God gave me. James, I have an unfulfilled wish, and I hope you can finish your old pop's work. Here's my bank account. I hope you can utilize this money to help those in pain, in need. I know you're probably mad at me, but I know one day you'll be able to understand. Love, Dad. Don't worry. 
I won't let you down. Ah, I've got a brilliant idea. I'm gonna create something called the love ticket. The love ticket is basically the lottery ticket where everyone gets a chance of winning a plane ticket to Europe. And of course, all the money earned will be used on building facilities in poor regions like Africa. This needs to happen right now. I, I gotta make some calls. Hello, Mr. Gates? Ten years later. Sorry, sir. Are you the man in this picture? Yes, and you are? Oh my god, it's really me. It's me, Mr. Trams. You saved my life. Uh, how so? You can't believe that how many people have been saving by you in Africa. I was born in one of your love hospitals. And now on, you can see that I'm the busiest man too. Because I have been studying in one of your schools. Not only my family, most of the peoples in Africa have been saving by you in different ways. Mr. James, thank you very much. You're so important in our life. That is the only thing that I can say to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And sorry for delaying your time. I, uh, I also got a meeting too. I hope I have a luck to meet you again. Thank you very much. And also, thank you. Goodbye. Dad, you changed me, you changed the world. With our heart, embrace the world. Help Nigeria! And save the world! Help Nigeria! And save the world! Hi, Shelly Judy. Why are you here? And why with this box? We're volunteers raising money for the refugees in Syria. Why? Don't you know that? We certainly. Their country has been through the serious civil war. Millions of people's houses have been destroyed. They were forced to separate with their own families. And now, they lost everything. Also, with lots of economic problems. <laughs> Come on, it couldn't be that bad. Look, the building has been destroyed. Blood, ash everywhere. Oh, that's horrible. I know, right? And look at this. Can you imagine that? A three-year-old little boy living in such a terrifying environment. He doesn't even know if he'll survive tomorrow. They used to be a happy family. Because of this cruel world, they were forced to leave their house and escape to Europe. Due to the accident, they drowned doing the way to the countries, and only the father survived. Oh, and since from the internet, it then leads to everyone's attraction. I felt sad about the news. I was even in tears. Yeah, so that's why we wanted to join the International Co Committee of Red Cross to help them. Oh, what's that? And now how can we help them? This is an organization that can rescue the conflicts between the countries. We can donate some money. It doesn't need a lot of money with everyone's heart. Then the committee will help them. Okay, we can help them with our hearts. And we'll be more concerned about human rights, terrorism, and other issues, taking them more seriously. Thank you so much. With, with our hearts, embrace the world. There are such serious cases that happened around our lives but we never know that. We should know more about it and tell more people, not only our friends, but also families. Yeah, you are right. Uh-oh, it's time to go home. Let's talk about it later. Introduction. 
Compared with this situation, we are so lucky to have such a warm life. We shouldn't complain. Hmm, sweetheart, Daddy is so happy that you have the viewpoint like this. Frankly speaking, because they didn't have a nice communication and global perspective on the relationship among countries. Everyone should tolerate each other. Listen to some advices. Don't be self-centered and be in the spirit of love. To different religions, we should respect, not attack, like the conflict between Christian and Islam. Tell me about it. In that case, they will have Iraq war, they battle 911, and the war in Afghanistan. The famine won't be happened, including so many people who is innocent. Oh, thanks for telling us so much. Hey, wanna go inside my room and find something more on the internet? Good idea. Without meeting Shirley and Judy, we would never know how lucky we are and how terrible the situation is. We should cherish what we own and put ourselves into others' shoes. Yeah, not only to good care of ourselves, but also develop global perspective. And with every effort, try to help as much as we can. With, with our hearts, impress the world. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Thank you. 第二十一对表演题目是 Minions are here to change the world. 计时开始。Oh, listen carefully, everyone. We minions will change the world. Have superpowers, go anywhere. Banana, my love, I love bananas. So heavy. Hey, Scarlet, how's it going? Jeez, Bob, look what you've done! <gasps> Bananas! Hey, Scarlet, we just went to the friendly supermarket right across the street. And they only carry fair trade bananas in their store. A fair trade banana a day keeps farmers happy all day. I'm positive, Scarlet, your store sells fair trade bananas, right? Sorry, we don't sell that so-called fair trade bananas. We import the most expensive ones from Banana Island. Oh my! The Banana Island? But the Banana Island is notorious for exploiting the banana farm. <clears throat> Our bananas happen to be the best in the world. Don't you dare go to that. Um, what's his name? It's friendly supermarket. That's not the point, Bob. Hmm. What fair trade anyway? It's complicated. I believe your little little human brain cannot comprehend this. I'll use my minion power to transport both of us to a mysterious place. What? Are you ready? What's going on? Whoa! Kevin, where are we? Oh, it says Honduras. Whoa! I have to work all day, but still have none at all. Only a dollar every month, but that's not enough for me. I remember someone said that no pain, no gain. Why only get the pain and never get the gain? All because of the middleman, no conscience, no choice, no conscience, no choice. One dollar, one dollar for a basket of bananas. What? That's all I get for this month? My five kids and my parents all rely on this one dollar? That's none of my concern. <laughs> Hello, this is Wonder Bananas. How may I help you? A basket of bananas? Sure, 
$10,000 for a basket. Fantastic! Bye. <laughs> See? This is what would happen if there were no fair trade. <gasps> Kevin, we have work to do. Back to Taiwan. Time to embrace the world. <sighs> Finally, back to Taiwan. Um, what are you doing, Scarlett? I am trying to set up an online banana dessert shop selling banana cakes. But why are you making these? In order to promote fair trade. Ah. I'm using only fair trade bananas to make desserts. Behind every package, there's a short description about the benefits of buying fair trade products. Right. You should also start a blog about banana farmers and the fair trade system. Great idea. Fair trade has for years donated parts of the proceeds to support the farmers, like buying better machines for them. Kevin, we are going to change the world. Let's see what has been changed in Honduras. Why, why are you here again? I represent fair trade, and I want to buy bananas from you. Oh my word! I know. Well, I saw this blog about fair trade the other day, and it was made by a Taiwanese teenage girl named Scarlett. Well, I feel really sorry for what I've done. From now on, fair trade all the way. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm glad for the change. If it weren't from an effort from every single person who cares, we wouldn't have achieved what we have today. That's the fair trade banana. Thank you. 第二十二对表演题目是 Reform History by Making History. 计时开始。Oh no! ISIS is destroying historical buildings everywhere. How could it happen? And what can I do? Oh come on! You can't do anything. You're just a little baby girl. I'm not a little baby girl. Look at me. Do I like a baby girl to you? Hmm. However, I want to save those historical sites. Do you want to help me? No thanks. Frankly, it is none of my business. Of course, but if it happens in Taiwan, it will be a disaster. Think of the National Palace Museum will be destroyed, and think of all the things that we could have learned. Okay, I got your point. But then again, you are just one person who will want to help you. I believe there are other people around the world that want to do it just like me. Let me check my Facebook. Okay. Dear Curtis and Victor, how are you? I need your help to save the world history. Do you want to join me? Yes, we can help you. Oh, this is exciting! I always wanted to make a difference in the world, but never were brave enough to do anything. So, how are we going to do it? Well, first we need to travel to the country where there are historical sites that are in danger now. Second, we will make a special version of it in Taiwan, and maybe make a special museum for all the historical sites miniature. Wait, wait, wait! We have another problem. It sounds like we need a lot of money for this. We are just students. We don't have that kind of money. You are right. That will be a problem. <gasps> I have a great idea. I know a crowdfunding site called Kickstarter. Maybe we can use it to achieve our financial needs. Let's try it. Okay. Here's the website. Let me input all the details in it. Down. Wow! wow it it works. works. That's perfect. We can start now. Let's, Let's go. go. Come here. Come here. Wow! Look at this magnificent building. Well, What? the National Palace Museum is. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take a. Selfie. <laughs> Wait, show them. Let's play later. Focus on the work first. Okay. Well, the National Palace Museum is an antique museum in Shilin, Taipei, Taiwan. It is one of the National Museums of Taiwan and has the permanent collection of more than six hundred and ninety-six thousand pieces of ancient Chinese imperial artifacts and artworks. It encompasses over ten thousand years of Chinese history from the Neolithic age to the late Qing Dynasty. 
Wow. wow! Okay, let's head to Iraq. the Siren city in the Nivevay plain in northern Mesopotamia. It was the major Assyrian city between approximately 1250 BC and 610 BC. Archaeologists believe that the city was given the name Nimrud in modern times after the biblical Nimrod, a legendary hunting hero. Wow! wow. Next up, to Syria. Let's go! Woo! Wow, so beautiful! Wow. Is that... It's a Palmyra? Yes. Well, Palmyra is. Wait, wait, wait. A... Let's take a. No, no, no be serious. serious. Out! Well, Palmyra is an ancient city in present Syria. It dates back to the Neolithic, and the city was noted in the annals of the Assyrian king and may have been mentioned in Hebrew Bible. Palmyra was a part of the Seleucid Empire and prospered after its incorporation into the Roman Empire in the first century. Wow. wow! Okay, we've got enough to start. Let's head back to Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stand we're here anymore. Let's go home right now. Let's go. Yes, we did it! Hey, Sheldon, look at this. Oh my gosh! You guys really did it! All these miniature buildings look just like real ones, and you guys even wrote down all the history! Yes, now everyone can go to our miniature museum to learn of these beautiful places. See, even, even young, young people, people like, like us can make a, make a difference. difference! Now we need to get everyone around the world to contribute, and soon we'll have all the miniature buildings in this museum. Reform history by making history! Selfie! Thank you! Thank you.